battery charger. The, what we're doing at the minute here now is we're charging just four uh, seven amp hour gel cells that are in series for 48 volts. And um, this is the first test of the charger after I have uh, fitted the new current and voltage um, sensors. And what that does for us is, it means that the control circuit here, uh, this guy, this whole board area here, and um, this side of the little interface board is now fully isolated uh, from the um, mains. So that's a major safety issue, it means this board can be handled, uh, buttons pushed, all that kind of thing. Everything here is at most at 5 volts above earth. And um, this is the, you can see it too well in there now, this is the little board. Uh, there's two sensors on that. Um, this grey guy here, that's the current sensor, that's a Hall effect um, sensor. You can see the way you've got this uh, power cable goes down through the center of it and uh, it measures the DC current that flows through that uh, blue cable there and it translates that current into a much smaller current uh, that on that uh, piece of, stri of strip board there that we convert that into a voltage uh, that is proportional to the current that's going through the big thick cable there and uh, we translate that back to our control board here via the A to D and that um, that basically tells us how much current that we're pushing into our battery bank and um, at the minute these uh, batteries are almost fully charged so we're kind of uh, just essentially giving them a float charge now um, so so uh, this guy here then, this blue block, this is the voltage sensor and um, what that does is it takes, uh, it takes a current input that is proportional to the voltage that we're applying to the battery bank and it isolates that and converts it to a smaller current that again you see the little black uh, precision resistor in there, I'll try and get a zoom on it. See that little, uh, that little black fella there? That translates the output current into again a voltage that we feed into the analog to digital converter and that gives us the voltage here. Um, that we're applying to the pack and it basically will house the micro in here to control the charge. So essentially getting this part of the circuit isolated from the high voltage has been, uh, has been a pretty big achievement and it means that um, this charger is now essentially as safe as a um, as a commercial charger and uh, so that's about it basically I'm just doing a few simple tests here I'll do some some more extensive tests as soon as the um, Odyssey batteries turn up and I can you know shove this up to fairly fairly high powers then but um, so far I'm very pleased with this uh, little circuit here it seems to be doing its job and it's quite simple um, simple to implement as well I know it's a bit of a, a mess of cables there at the minute but that's just really prototyping it could all be done on a small uh, printed 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 circuit board so uh, that's something I'll have to investigate but yeah, as I said, it's just a first test after having calibrated the voltage and current sensors. And I have to say that they're doing a very good job. Um, they're very accurate. Um, see there, that's the current and voltage are jumping about a bit still. But I kind of suspect that that's mainly due to the fact that we're at very small 
powers here because of the size of these um, batteries I would say when it's charging a proper EV battery it will it'll tend to stay a lot more um, stable because it'll be drawing more uh, power and if I've also as you can see here I've got the art cable finally hooked up to the power supply that means that all of these um, all of these grounds here, all of the ground plane on this control board are all effectively at mains earth. So that, um, that essentially takes out the safety uh, concerns. Now, at this stage, stage, obviously the battery terminals are still um, essentially hot, but uh, that's no different than the um, Manzanita chargers. So if it's good enough for them, it's good enough for me. So right, that's about it. The first simple test. So uh, as I say, as soon as my proper traction batteries turn up, I'll um, uh, push this up to high power. I should be able to. Uh, it should be able to provide about between 40 and 50 amps of current um, when it has a proper supply. And uh, this is the little power pack in there, that's an old uh, TV power pack. And it means that this charger uh, can essentially be powered from about 100 to 260 uh, volts AC as it, as it, uh, as it stands now. It could, it could even be driven from a DC source. Uh, but obviously it's just a book converter so it'd need to, um, the battery voltage that it would be charging would have to be inside the, um, the kind of an um, area that the mains, the kind of uh, DC, ugh, okay, the battery voltage would, would have to be such that uh, the main supply is higher than it by a certain factor in order to achieve a, a, satis, a, a satisfactory charge. Uh, so that's about it as I say, um, I'll do another update when I have some more testing done and when I have the larger batteries. Okay, that's it for now.